serious right now? Whoa, it looks like things have developed in a sort of weird way over here. Just get revenge for my fucked up brain.
Action. Help! Help! I, I, I'm dying! I'm dying! Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh. Oh. oh my god, what, what, what happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A, G a G3 base? Oh my god, it was probably Dr. Giblets. Oh god. Oh god, I'm fading fast. Please, please. Hey, come back! Uh, uh Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets' base? Where, where the hell is he? Well, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, fine. Oh, huh, that's uh, a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for, that's what drones are for, they're for combat, that's not weird, but someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what, that makes sense, everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. Looks like your typical work desk. Nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. All right, then. Let's, let's keep moving. there, cowboys? Uh, oh, shit. Sorry. Wrong bit. Wrong bit. I mean, how do there, detectives? Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to... These must be old hyperbong prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. Whew, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door. All right, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go, go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Oh shit, that's a G Gatlian. A regular old Gatlian doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful. Did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's going to happen? Uh, who knows. Let's find out. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. 
Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets! That was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Dr. Giblet's status report. No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. Hello! If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. I should have fucking known it wouldn't have been so easy. Hey, get out of here. Everyone called me crazy, but look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped in here, fallen prey to my glorious you were ever so jealous of. That's right, Timothy. I know it was you. My own son killed me. And for what? The inheritance? My land? Or just a plain old space edifice complex? No matter. Just you and your quads about killing your own father. I shall gladly spill the blood of my firstborn. Farewell, Timothy Jimlitz. Why aren't you using my trick? I recorded this message in the event that you're wearing a jetpack and use it during the fight. To cover all my bases here. Good work using the jetpack. But it won't be enough! More guys coming! Could it be that? 
I feel like it's probably not, but I just want to make sure. I know you can't tell me because I'm dead, but soon you can tell me. Whoops, 
Sorry we came so close and killed you. He's dead. I don't know. Maybe Gene can help. I just wanted to say, you know, to, today really meant a lot to me, and um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. And with that, everyone lived happily ever after. It was a happy, perfect day, and the children were laughing, seeing amazing. The end. Okay, I'm done with that voice. Look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. How'd it go? Come on over, let's bow wow. Move it, kid. I'm trying to watch my stories. Gary fell down and broke his crown. Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I I I I don't know about that. I mean, he he's he's not really functional. I don't I don't I don't, I don't think he's dead. But oh, god damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay. Th th thanks, Gene. But, you know, if, if it can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I-I-I-I-I-I I, I, I was being shitty. You didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over. Let me give you the news. All right.
right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right. Which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it was pretty embarrassing. All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it, since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm going to see if I can fix up that busted Gatlion you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlions here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite, uh, you and I, our best pals. 